Several stories emanating from this, the $545,000 final of the Campbellville Stakes. Here with the parade is track announcer Frank Salif. Cyclone Artie is number one on post parade. Trevor Ritchie driving for Harold Lundy. Erky Lockin and Owens and John Campbell is driver of two and overhaul. Wildwood Express three with Tony Kerwood for Kelly Stables. Carl and Rod Allen stable owners. Carl does the driving on four CR Excalibur. Trotten Houdini 5, Donal Dupont for Les Écuries Dupont, and Dupont Horse Racing. 6 is Mr. August with Tron Smith's Hammer for Ted Gewurtz, American Viking Stable. John Grant owns, and Steve Condren is driving 7 OU Man. 8 White Land Will with Jimmy Tactor for Christina Tactor, Fred Schubert. Armstrong Brothers owns 9, Armbro winner driven by Randall Waples. And number 10 is Charlie Kronos with Chris Christopheru for Falk Bullock and AB. Nine minutes to post time to the fourth race. The Campbellville Stakes Championship Final starts Mohawks win four wager. Off and trotting, Cyclone Artie was on a break as the gate was swinging away, leaving the pylons uncontested to Andover Hall. Darting out from the outside when Armbro winner directly to the top, and Wildwood Express will tuck in from third. Trotting Houdini goes under urging to close the hole along the inside in that top four, and that's going to leave Wildwood Express out there. CR Excalibur is fifth away, making sixth along the inside. Into the first turn was Mr. August as Trotting Houdini made a break. Everybody moves up one position by that inheritance. Moving third from last in the the lead trotting pack was OU Man ahead of Whiteland Will and Charlie Kronos. And after the early break, Cyclone Artie and Mr. Uh, make a trotting Houdini are the gapping trailers. They make the half with Armbro winner up top, and now he's under siege from Andover Hall, who's going to pocket pull three more lengths back to Wildwood Express from third. CR Excalibur is fourth. Staying in line from fifth was Mr. August. Then it's back to OU Man. He's just ahead of Whiteland Will and Charlie Kronos. Landing back down trotting was trotting Houdini and Cyclone Artie was the gapping trailer and overhaul took over but the half was 57 and 3 second stand to 29 and 2 and overhaul by two lengths three eighths of the mile to go Armbra winner is second here comes Wildwood Express who stayed off that speed and Kerwood rallies him maybe upset minded he's up on the outside looming very bold now second CR Excalibur is fourth Mr. August along the inside is fifth OU Man is sixth Whiteline Will is seventh Charlie Kronos is eighth and the gapped out trailers are trotting Houdini and Cyclone Artie it's and overhaul, stepping it out to a four-length advantage, and Campbell's just now starting to raise the whip a little bit, then Wildwood Express, CRX Caliber is cut loose down the middle, and they pass three quarters in 127 and two, and overhaul, CRX Caliber, Wildwood Express back in third, and overhaul, CRX Caliber gets to within about three lengths, but no closer, and and overhaul, still undefeated, wins the Campbellville, 156 and two, just missing the track record, and of course it is a stakes record over CRX Caliber and Wildwood Express. Two Mohawks winner circle. The 2001 champion of the Campbellville Stakes. And overhaul, the Carlin Lobel two-year-old brown colt from Amuud Angus. Brother to the likes of Emily Cassell, Conway Hall, and Angus Hall. Undefeated in six lifetime. Three in a row here at Mohawk. Stakes record, just missing Banker Hall's track record by a fifth of a second. And life's earnings now approaching $400,000. And overhaul. Wins the Campbellville in 156 and 2. The trophy presentation made in the winner's circle by Woodbine Entertainment. And overhaul wins the final of the Campbellville Stakes tonight with this man, John Campbell, in the driver's seat. First of all, right off the top, Cyclone Arnie made a break down to the inside of you. Did that bother your Colt at all at the start? Uh, no, he got around that. Um, you know, he's, he's very professional for a two year old. He's, uh, every time I've raced him, he's been uh, you know, very easy to drive and very mature. 
more about that professionalism. This was his sixth lifetime start, and he's had one qualifier, so seven times in behind the gate. And he's already been to five different tracks and handled it well. Is that more about his professionalism? I think so. I mean, it, it is tough to, to move a two-year-old trotter around when they're just learning and, and getting their feet under him, but uh, he's handled it extremely well every track that I've driven him at. Showed a little bit of versatility tonight. You made the move to the front as the opportunity presented itself. And then Carl Allen's Colt was coming at you down the stretch. Uh, were you still feeling secure with an eight to go? Yeah, he, he still felt strong. He doesn't go any more than, than he has to, but he goes on every time you ask him. And, uh, you know, just kept, kept his attention and, you know, was keeping a, an eye on the competition through the stretch. But he was strong right through the wire. And, and uh, you know, I think he's got a, a real good future ahead of him. Remains undefeated. and Hall gets the job done in the Campbellville Stakes with John Campbell aboard. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Peter. And overhaul sets a new track record in the winning as well, 156 and 2. Up next, it's race number.